This year, the Pokemon World Championships takes place in Washington, DC, starting on August 16th. It's the most important weekend in the Pokemon calendar, with trainers' eyes from all over the world looking at this event to see who will be crowned the very best. So it's a perfect time to give Pokemon fans some exciting announcements. In previous years, we've had new Pokemon, new mechanics in the trading card game, and even a recording for a Pokemon movie. With this year's Pokemon World Championships just around the corner, I've been thinking what announcements could happen this year. Over the last few years, the Pokemon World Championships stage has been used to announce some big changes in the Pokemon trading card game. GX cards, tag team cards, this year's probably no exception. With the end of the Sun and Moon series of Pokemon cards fast approaching, many fans are wondering if Sword and Shield Pokemon cards will bring in a new mechanic. So how about DX cards inspired by the new Dynamax mechanic? Personally, I want it to be a little more than just replacing the GX with DX as seen with EX and GX. There was no real difference there. In the games, Dynamax is gonna make a Pokemon really big. So why not take advantage of that and make the cards really big as well? Now, I'm not talking about jumbo cards, but how about the return of the Legend cards? This is where two cards would come together to make one really big card. Now, I'm no TCG expert, I wasn't playing the game while these cards were in the format, but it seems like a pretty cool way to bring back an old mechanic and it would make Pokemon big. Pokemon movie news isn't usually part of the opening ceremony, but last year Detective Pikachu changed that with asking for audience participation to record audio to be used in the film. I wasn't completely convinced that the audio was actually used in the final cut of the film, but according to the Detective Pikachu book, it was. That said, a confirmation of Detective Pikachu 2 might be a little bit too early, but it would be nice. So maybe not Detective Pikachu this year, but we do have Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. And it is a straight 3D remake of the first Pokemon movie. There is a lot of nostalgia for this film, and I feel it would be pretty exciting to have the first English trailer of this film at the Pokemon World Championships. Due to the previous years films getting a limited cinema release, I'm not sure we'll see a release date for Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution outside of Japan, but a dubbed trailer would be pretty exciting. The Pokemon video game has also had its fair share of exciting news revealed at Worlds. In past years, we've had new Pokemon reveals such as Mega Slowbro and Crabrawla. With Pokemon Sword and Shield's release in November, it's a pretty safe bet we might get a new Pokemon revealed in the opening ceremony but I've been thinking a little further on what this Pokemon could be. After all, it wouldn't be the first time that a Pokemon revealed has some kind of relation to the place in which it was revealed. Mr. Masuda revealed Crabrawla in San Francisco because San Francisco is apparently famous for its crabs. This year's world's theme seems to be around exploring. You can see in this year's world's artwork that the Pokemon are wearing exploring gear and there are fossils and exploring equipment. This could be inspired by Washington DC's numerous museums. And Aerodactyl is this year's distribution for the video game. This has made me think, Sun and Moon didn't have any new fossil Pokemon and the upcoming Galar region, which is loosely based on the United Kingdom, we have a few shorelines which are quite well known for being able to find fossils. So it makes sense that we might get a new fossil Pokemon revealed. Personally, I feel all these things add up and a new fossil Pokemon would fit in perfectly to be revealed at this year's Pokemon World Championships. And then we have Pokemon Go. In previous years, we've had special Pokestop, increased rare spawns, special missions, and I feel this year is going to be no different. This year, now that Pokemon Go has a PvP system in place, there is a Pokemon Go Invitational being hosted at the Pokemon World Championships. The event will be live streamed straight after the opening ceremony on the main Pokemon live feed. 
Because of this, I'm kind of hoping the Pokemon Go experience within the Pokemon World Championships will be better than ever. At this year's Pokemon Go Fests around the world, we have seen Niantic raise the special trade cap to five per day. So what better place to have an increased special trade cap than the Pokemon World Championships? A place where players from all over the world are gathering for their love of Pokemon. At last year's Pokemon World Championships, I was stopped and approached several times when people saw my UK flag to ask if I had a spare Mr. Mime to trade. Unfortunately, I already had my special trades planned with other people. So I think special trade increase for those attending the Pokemon World Championships would be really beneficial. But we are more likely to have special spawns and research. In past years, we've had unknown spawns. I feel like all the letters of unknown for Washington DC might be a little bit too much. So maybe just the unknown D and C. I'd like to see special Pokestops and research missions making a comeback. But I think I speak for most Pokemon Go players when I say, give us Relicam. We have the whole exploring theme going on, fossils, and what better fit than Relicamp, which is essentially a living fossil Pokemon. It just works so well with the whole theme of the event, so please Niantic, we really want Relicamp. Finally, it may not be announced in the opening ceremony, but there is a very strong possibility that more information will be released about the upcoming season for the competitive Pokemon video game. There has already been events announced for the upcoming season, some starting as soon as September. So there may be an announcement of when the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon season will end and Sword and Shield season will begin. So yeah, that's just a few of my predictions for what will be announced at Worlds this year. Do let me know in the comments if you agree with anything I've said or if you have other predictions, I would love to hear them. Once again this year, I am lucky enough to be attending the Pokemon World Championships. If you are attending too and you see me, please come and say hello. As always, if you have liked today's video, press that like button, share with your friends, and if you haven't already, press the subscribe button for more Pokemon videos. And I'll see you guys next time.